This video is sponsored by UnlockThatPhone.com. Unlock any phone, any carrier, worldwide. Visit UnlockThatPhone.com for more information. What's up guys, Jared back. So I've been asked this question a lot of times in a lot of my previous videos. Um, how did I theme the navigation bar on my Nexus 5 or how did I theme the icons in my status bar? Uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that right now and it's not just specific to my Nexus 5. You can do this with pretty much all devices. So anyways, as long as you have exposed framework installed, you can go ahead and keep going and let's get started. Alrighty, so we got my Nexus 5 here and as you can see, my navigation bar buttons are definitely themed. Same as my status bar, you know, Wi-Fi and uh, data signal strength. Uh, um, so anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, exposed framework installer here and just jump into download here and we'll go ahead up to the search bar there and type in EX space and then we'll go ahead and drop down my uh, keyboard here and you'll notice here that we've got EX Themer 2. Uh, EX Themer 2 is compatible with Ice Cream Sandwich, Jelly Bean and Kit Kat. There is another version as you can see here, ICS and Jelly Bean. I'm really not sure why they even still have that in there considering uh, EX Themer 2 supports all three but anyways, so once you go ahead and find that click on it and scroll down here and then just simply download it once it's downloaded we can go ahead and jump back into modules and you're obviously going to want to come in here and check that little box there and then reboot your device because a lot of modules do need your device to be rebooted in order to be fully compatible um, so once you've rebooted it go ahead and tap on it and it opens up in here. So now you can see uh, in this main menu here, we've got all kinds of things. You can actually theme your Google keyboard, the Google Play Store, Google Hangouts. You can theme your actual settings menu and you can even theme the WhatsApp um, application. I meant to say you can just theme WhatsApp, not the WhatsApp. Anyways, um, so once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on Open EX Themer. Now the thing with uh, EX, with once you click on that actually, is that um, it's gonna present you with a little box that says you need to download this application. You can download it either from the Google Play Store or you can download it from their repo. Just make it easier on yourself and download it from the Google Play Store. Once you've downloaded it uh, and you come back here, let me just get out of here, click on Decline. And I'll back out. So once you've downloaded the application and you click on the Open EX Themer, um, and you get past that window that said, you know, do you want to uh, accept it or decline? Just click on decline. Um, you can come into here in Status Bar Mods, and you've got things like Status uh, Status Bar Clock Tweaks and Mods. So there's some different things in here. I'm just not really particularly interested in anything there myself. So I come in here in Signal Bar Tweaks and click on Choose Theme, and um, this is where you can start basically doing anything you want. So if I wanted to, you know, we've got a little portal and all these different themes going on here. So uh, as an example, um, if I wanted to say, for instance, maybe change it to blue and then I can, oh, by the way, if you guys are running a, a, a KitKat TouchWiz ROM, just make sure that you go ahead and tap that right there. Uh, so we can click on back and then I want to uh, obviously theme my um, Wi-Fi so that it matches with the other one that I just picked. So uh, I'll probably want to select um, something blue as well. So hopefully there's something for me. Um, I think we'll just go with the, the hollow and then we'll click on back and back again and then we simply click on restart system UI, click OK and that'll eventually get us to the lock screen, swipe and you'll notice that now that has changed as well. So maybe that's not all we want to do, we want to change our navigation bar as well. So click on themes there, it eventually loads up and uh, as an example, you know, maybe we want um, the DT soft keys. So we'll go ahead and click on that, click on back. Again, restart system UI, all of this is on the fly, which is pretty sweet. And then as you can see, back to the lock screen, and then as you can see, it has changed my navigation bar down there at the bottom, which is pretty sweet. We also have some other framework mods that you can uh, change around as well. Power menu tweaks, switch styles and toast message tweaks if we wanted to. Um, but then we can go ahead and click on back and perhaps we want to um, uh, decline. Uh, perhaps we want to theme our Google Hangouts. So you've got a bunch of options in here. Obviously, you'll want to click on enable, uh, enable Google Hangouts themes. So click on that. So you can click on revert to talk, which you know replaces some of the aspects and components of it. Um, you can choose your theme type if you want color picker preferences or the predefined. So color picker preferences, uh, I said pricker preferences. Um, pick, picker preferences are down here where it says action bar, you know, all these different things that you can change around if you want to and then you just click on apply theme on the go. However, I do prefer the predefined themes myself. So I'm gonna click on the choose theme. You've got stock theme if you wanna go back, blue theme or the yellow theme. So I clicked on blue theme just to kind of keep with 
with the theme that I've got going up there at the top. And then we're just gonna run down here and click on apply theme on the go. Click OK, give you a little toast message that we can go ahead and jump back to our home. This um, icon will eventually change to blue after you've like rebooted your device maybe once or after you've used the application. We're gonna go ahead and tap on, and as you can see right away, everything is blue. Now I'm not gonna click on the actual um, messages that we've got going on here because there's obviously conversations there that I'm pretty sure some of my friends don't want being aired to the world. Uh, but as you can see, everything is blue. Um, even if we jump into, well, some things aren't blue, but nevertheless, uh, and if we jumped into these actual um, chats that I've got going on here, the chat bubbles themselves are blue. But of course, you can always customize that to the color of your choice. Um, but anyways, guys, that is basically how I do that. There's a couple of other options out there like um, candy shop, sweetener packs, things like that for a ROM that I've reviewed in the past. Um, it's up to you on how you want to do it. But anyways, I'll leave you with that for now. Um, that's it for this one, though, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, if you like this video, click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might want to subscribe for more videos in the future. Um, but anyways, until next time, guys, cheers.